So if you're continuing from the previous exercise, you can continue using your design. If you're just coming into this exercise, you can start with the cup underscore one working file. So as you can see, we've got our cup started. It needs a handle. So in the timeline, let's double click on the form to put us back into the sculpt environment. And I'm going to click to look at the front view in the cube because what I want to add from the create drop down is I want to add a torus. And what we want is we want to pick the plane as our starting point. And then you want to pick a center point and define the size of that torus. By picking that point there, we can then make changes to it, as well as changing the diameter. 16 looks about right. I'm going to make that 15. The number of faces here is probably okay for what we're after, but notice that I can also use the on-screen manipulator to change the number of faces. And I'm not so concerned about symmetry because we're going to tug and pull and make some changes to this. Around 10 faces, the diameter you can see is around 15, and the outer diameter is really what you think is enough for use as a handle. If it's not quite in the position that you want, if you go into the browser, notice the body, and if you right click on the second body, you can actually do a move. And with that, you can change the positions of where this is. So perhaps what I'd like to do is I'd like to take this out just slightly. Perhaps what I'd like to do is change that distance. Maybe 10 is too much. So I'll use the dialog box and say five millimeters. And once I'm satisfied with the position, I can click OK. So even if you didn't get it originally in the location that you want, you can manipulate that after. Well, let's double click this edge and let's right click and do an edit form. Because what I'd like to do is make this a little bit straighter. So I'm going to pull that out, pull that up and then maybe just scale that just a little bit. So we'll click OK, and I can see the handle as it's starting to take form. Let's double click on this edge. Again, let's right click, pick Edit Form. I'm just gonna linear translate that down a little bit, scale that just a little bit, and then rotate that face, and click OK to apply that. So I like that for the handle. Notice that it is going inside the cup. But that's okay, we'll actually take care of that later. Okay, so we've got the two bodies defined. We've got our cup, we've got our handle. But right now they're still sculpted forms. What I'd like to do is convert this and actually make something that we could manufacture. So let's select finish form, return back to the model, and let's change from the model workspace. Let's change into the patch workspace because the tool we want to use is on the crate drop down and we want to use the patch tool. Because what we want to do is we want to patch the top of our cylinder. So I'll click OK. And I also want to patch the bottom. So again, from the crate drop down, pick patch, pick that bottom edge. Now with that defined, let's go to the modify drop down. Let's pick stitch. And I'm going to do a window selection to pick those three surfaces. We really want everything in here except for the handle. And I'm going to click OK to create that new body. So now if we take a look at the bodies, I can see now that we've got two solid bodies. So let's go from the patch drop down into the model workspace. And from the modify menu, we'll pick shell, which is going to allow us to hollow this body out. The body that we want to do is this one here, and we want to remove that top face. So what that's going to do is hollow out the shape as we want. We're actually going to delete that top face from the model. And let's specify seven millimeters as the thickness of the cup. Or if you find that's too thick, make it more like five millimeters. So we'll click OK, and now we can see we've got our handle and our cup. Well, the last thing here is to chop off the edge of that handle. So what we want to do is really end it where it hits that cup. So continue in the model workspace. Let's go to the modify drop down, and we're going to do a split body. And with the split body, the first step is the body we want to split, which is the handle. And the splitting tool is going to be this inside face on the cup. And we're going to enable the extend option to make sure that we're going to cut right through that part. We'll click OK. And now take note in the browser that we actually have the three bodies. And for now, just in case we want to come back and make changes, let's just click the light bulb to turn that off. So everything's looking good. We've got our cup designed. Perhaps the last thing we've decided is it's not quite tall enough. So let's go right back to the original form. So I'm going to double click. Although with the sculpted forms, we can't directly change the height and diameter of that cylinder that we created initially, we can use our edit form tools. So I'm going to double click on that top edge. I'm going to right click and pick edit form. And I'm going to click and drag to drag that edge up. Click OK. 
I'm going to select finish form and notice that everything's updated. Patches updated, the stitch updated, and the shell feature updated. We now could send this out to be 3D printed. We could use the CAM environment to figure out how we're going to machine this, but our coffee cup is now done.